Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And after a very long time, I am creating this part three. And I apology for being late. Uh, actually, I was not getting the much time for creating the tutorial. So, guys, I'm back with the videos. Let's go back to the browser without wasting the time. So, we had created this sign up form last time and we were able to call the api that we created in our separate uh, playlist uh, that was asp.net core identity so you guys are, are all familiar maybe for for that video series so you can have a look in the description i will put the you know this link of that uh, api tutorial link in the description so for now we will be focusing on this front end so what we have done, we had successfully called the API and that API is returning us the some response. Now the target is, and you can have a look that is, what is it returning? Is returning is success message and status. The status is not there, but let's copy this property, whatever the response is, let's make it at, paste it over here. <coughs> copy and paste okay i'm copying and pasting everything here that what is the response from this side okay now the requirement will be like if user clicks on the sign up button when user uh, gets the sign up successfully get the response from the api that you have been successfully registered or this api is being used so uh, the api we have used is this post authentication is used and its response successful uh, like 201 so what we have to do we have to uh, display a message that an email has been sent to your uh, the provided email that you have provided here and go and check the link uh, for the confirmation so you can check we will not be writing the custom message because uh, we already have a message here user created successfully to email this okay so we will be printing this message whatever message we are getting from the uh, back end we will not be any doing any kind of messages on the front end like that so that will not be a good practice all the message should be coming from the back end that will be good uh, okay so for now let's go flip to the visual studio and we have a sign up component dot html we have sign up component dot ts let's go there and declare some more variable for this that was a user input similarly we need um, show success message M -E -A -W is equals to that will be false initially I'm setting it false okay now on the api call whatever the response i am getting equals to response dot what was the message is success okay i'm assigning it to this getting me error i, I will make it resolve it later but for now let's make it as true directly but it should not be like that we will change it later show success message all oh, right oh, I forgot that this thought sorry control Y let's make it like this uh, yep. this dot success message equals to response dot is success and we have to change and we need a message variable as well so come over here and declare a message equals to nothing for now it's empty and here in the success one we will be initializing is equal to this dot message whatever message we have got from the server side response dot message uh, what is the like this this one. that is why I copied this so we'll be assigning this here okay that's fine now and 
we have to go back to the HTML part. And from where we are getting this form, this is my form. And I will be applying here ng if the directives uh, equals to this is also empty. Oh, I'm very difficult to manage with this keyboard. I have to check this every time. Okay. For here, we will be binding this variable show success message. And we will be showing it when it's not true. Another, we will be creating a way, <coughs> another diff for the message. Similarly, I added a diff with the alert success and ng if same, but the condition is different. Here, I have not written the uh, not. So when the show message is true, it will be rendering this one. Now you have to write your message. So you will be writing this variable and let's make it safe. And it's time to test this application now that uh, we are on the right track or not. So now let's flip to the browser and write the ideas solution at the rate gmail.com the space it over here password a b c d at the rate one two three four let's click on the sign up and check what is happening all right it's parenting the same thing correct as expected the only the ui is the problem the ui is not fine Okay, but here we can see some additional, this comma, uh, sorry, this quotation, string quotation, and this angular bracket. If you want to remove this, we can replace by using the replace method in the JavaScript, so we can make use of it. Let's go flip to this and go back there in the component ts, and you can do here dot replace. the function replace would be like this. Right, let's make it safe. And you will check and it will not be giving you the space now. Okay. okay. When I come to the email for checking the confirmation link, I'm getting this API link. When I click on this, it's telling me, okay, the status is success message, but we are directly calling the API in the email because we were only dealing with the uh, API project last time. But for now, we have to change it. In the email, we should not send the URL of the API. We should send the URL of the front end application of our Angular. So, with a component for creating, for confirming the email and behind the scene. We will be calling the API. All the parameter will be same. So let's make it now. We'll have to go back to the uh, Visual Studio Code and we'll create a new component. Okay, we'll go to the terminal and new terminal, and we will write a command. Uh, this one, ng generate component confirm account. So we are creating a new component. Let's click the enter and we will get a new component. Over here you see the folder name confirm account. Okay, for now let's expand this more. So we can come to know there is nothing, only the confirm account. And here we have, okay, this. Now we can call this the API over here. But let's check confirm dash account. Sign up. Confirm dash account. Okay, we need to add that in the route. Let's go back. We have a routing file app dot routing module dot ts. <coughs> 
Okay, in the app route dash routing module, we will be adding something like that. Same, same like the above. Path is equals to confirm account, and we have to import that like the same. Okay, let's import and let's make it copy paste from confirm account slash this now it's fine looks like fine let's make it safe now now if i redirect to this page confirm account i can do that so we will be doing this like uh, what we need uh, we need a token we need a token and something and uh, username user name equals to let's do it like this okay this will be the url that we will be sending it so we have to go back to the v this uh, visual studio and we have to check okay what we are doing for the confirmation okay let's make it stop now for now let's comment what url we need this one OTP confirmation login confirm email maybe this method confirm email are we doing this no 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 not this confirm email uh, let's press control m o login with OTP confirm email register uh, which method we are calling confirm email maybe yeah this one because we are sending the token and the email here see finding the email by sync and confirm email the method we are calling everything looks fine okay so we will not be sending the user name instead we will be calling the uh, email as an input parameter here so we can make it identify email okay that will be easy token and email and now the next thing what we need we need to change the register method here you can see this logic in the confirmation we are creating the url uh, channel of the confirmation and like that so we'll be changing it so for now let's temporary i can make, make it in a better way but for now just for now i am making it like this because everything i should be make it as a configurable i will be doing it later but for checking it the things are working fine or not because the video will be getting very long if i start doing correct you know first time everything should be not will, will be perfect the video will be long i use i used to have some appropriate method but for now i will be using it as a considering as a string and sending this string like this okay var confirmation email and the token will be coming like that what is the token token keyword with the token from where the token was generated last time response this one okay yep this one this will be coming here token equals to this and and oh man it's very difficult to write with this keyboard and email equals to registered let's copy this and paste and check it again now ah oh, sorry make it correct here now the we will be redirecting to this url now let's check it for sure 
Okay, so for this account, we already been registered. I have to delete. Okay, now I have deleted that user, and now let's flip to the uh, this one. So flip to the browser, but let's make it the name is Salman Masood. Email is this. Password A B C D at the rate one two three four. Let's make it sign up. We have to add a loader. Should add a loader on this sign up click. After this sign up click, what happened? Oh, we are getting some error. Console. Oh, it was taking very much long time. Okay, you see, the user created email sent successfully to the email. So that has been fixed. The Angular backend and the double quotation we removed. Now go back to the email. Okay, now you guys can see the email which we received is the URL has been changed. It was like local or seven zero one zero. Now we change it to our Angular application, and if I click, it redirects me to the Angular. And in the next video, we will be taking this token and the email uh, from this query string and calling the API for verifying the email. So the video is getting long. So let's uh, take it to this at this moment. Okay, so I hope you like this video. If you like this video, then please like, share, and subscribe so I can make the uh, new videos. If you you like, then comments motivates me to make the videos more better. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.